more and more companies are joining the hydrogen hype train. BMW is hard at work, so is Toyota, Kawasaki and many more. While well, now the second biggest auto manufacturer has also joined in. VW is busy working on this technology and their aim is to make a cheaper hydrogen passenger vehicle that will undercut the price of the current options and have an insane range of 1600 miles or 2000 kilometers on one tank of hydrogen. This is actually quite interesting because in November of 2019, VW announced that they will not be pursuing hydrogen and they gave this big explanation on why, stating that the hydrogen fuel cell is too inefficient to use in a vehicle and every opportunity thereafter that they were asked about the possibility of a hydrogen powered vehicle, they stood their ground and said that there is no plans for a hydrogen car. Well now in November, VW have applied for registration of a new patent for a new hydrogen fuel cell that in addition to being cheaper than the current ones will be able according to its creators to give cars a range of up to 2000 kilometers without refueling. So I wonder what is going on there, why dismiss the technology and then later apply for a patent? I think that there are many reasons. You see, in 2019, hydrogen wasn't a good fuel option, cost of production of the fuel was too high, storage was scary and infrastructure was at its infancy. In the last 3 years however, interest and investment has skyrocketed, which also means that more and more companies have worked on the technology, which led to breakthroughs, making it easier, cheaper and safer than it ever was. The patent application for the new fuel cell carried out together with the German company Kraftwerk Tubes shows that VW has seen the potential of the fuel and that they don't want to miss the train and then end up losing tons of sales in 5 or 10 years from now. So what makes their car and their technology different and how does it work? Well, this is a hydrogen fuel cell, much like the Mirai Toyota produces. So the car is powered by electric motors, but instead of having tons of batteries weighing the car down, a fuel cell makes its own electricity by burning hydrogen. The process only leaves water vapor as a byproduct, so it's super clean and environmentally friendly. Now, this hydrogen needs to be stored in a high pressure tank that stores the hydrogen in its gas form. If it were in its liquid form, they would need to be stored at very low temperatures. Now, where Kraftwerk and VW's one is different is with the materials used within the fuel cell. Sascha Kuhn, Kraftwerk's CEO, explained in an interview with Business Insider Germany. The main difference with Hyundai and Toyota's hydrogen cells is that we use a ceramic membrane instead of the usual plastic one. That's the big difference. The big advantage of our solution is that it can be produced much cheaper than polymer fuel cells and it does not require any type of platinum. And as I'm sure you know, platinum is really expensive. So a cheaper overall package and there's more. The manager also points to another advantage that will save costs in the manufacture of the vehicles. The fuel cell generates heat that can be used both to replace the car's heating and air conditioning which would also mean greater energy savings. And then the good news doesn't even stop there. Although the patent has been requested together with Volkswagen, Kraftwerk assures that it is not exclusively for the brand. Their goal is to have their fuel cells used in many vehicles and different manufacturers by 2026. Now Kraftwerk believes that lithium is not the way forward. Their opinion is that solid state batteries can be an option, but that hydrogen is a better option for drivers who don't have suitable charging options or the drivers that don't want to waste their time at charging stations. Plus, hydrogen has the added benefit of no range anxiety. According to the executive, with this system, we can travel up to 2000 kilometers on a single tank of fuel, which is pretty damn far. But let me know down below what you think of this technology. Are you with me on the hydrogen hype train? I believe that everything will coexist. I believe that all the small cars that just drive around in the town will pro most probably be battery powered, then cars that need to go a bit further, family vehicles, cars that you go on vacation with will most likely be fuel cells and then sports cars and construction vehicles and stuff like that will most likely be hydrogen internal combustion vehicles. But let me know what you think down, down below, what is your opinion of the future of the automotive industry, where do you think it's going to go and yeah, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I've got many more car related videos and hydrogen related videos. So if you like this one you like the other stuff so just go through it see if there's something else you like i'll check you guys in the next one cheers eh?